Tucker County is in uh, north central West Virginia. Um, it's home of one of the most visited state parks, Blackwater Falls. Uh, we also have Canaan Valley Resort State Park, um, which is also a ski center in the winter. So we have two downhill ski centers, Canaan Valley Resort and Timberline, along with a cross-country ski center at Whitegrass. And uh, we have a variety of winter activities. So in the winter months, Blackwater Falls has a sledding hill with a uh, magic carpet that takes you up so you don't have to walk back up the hill and uh, at Canaan Valley Resort they have ice skating along with their downhill skiing and they also have a tubing park so there's a variety of winter activities uh, it's really unique having two downhill ski areas so close to each other so a lot of people have to come here and be able to go back and forth between the two areas. Whitegrass is a name of a ski touring center in Canaan Valley that uh, also has a cafe and a sales shop has rentals, does snowshoeing, uh, cross country skiing in the winter, in the summer it's a farm. So I mean, we have a corner on, on winter. Not necessarily spring, summer, fall, but nobody outdoes us for winter. If it's warm here, it's super warm where you are. If it's cold where you are, it's super cold here. So I mean, it's just really extreme on the winter side. And not having a lot of winter places around, it's a total monopoly. I've been here 17 years as the mountain manager, um, probably the least amount of snow and most peculiar winter that we've ever had, but we're still operating 23 trails. Canaan's been here since uh, about 1971. Um, it's a full season resort, um, four seasons. Winter time, of course, we have ice skating, tubing, downhill skiing, cross country skiing, snowshoeing. Um, but then, of course, then we go into the summer operations. We have scenic lift rides, we have an outdoor pool, an 18 hole golf course, um, anchors of hiking trails. Um, we have a summer tube park, which is located right behind me. So we also have Parsons as our county seat, and uh, Parsons is the small town charm. Uh, they have um, a wonderful rail trail. They just put in a splash park, so it's a free little park that you can go to and get wet and bring the kids to. And it also is known for our uh, whitewater rafting in our um, county. So Blackwater Outdoors Adventures is in St. George, which is just outside of Parsons. And then Davis and Thomas are, we like to call them the twin, twin cities. Um, they're about population of 700 each or less. Tucker County and Davis and Thomas is like, you know, Yosemite, Aspen, it's like Jackson Hole for the East Coast for towns as far as access for trails and for outdoor living. Most of the county is owned by the public. You don't have to trespass. You don't have to get in trouble. You don't have to get busted. All this land is open and it's not only open, it is designed and developed for you to get out there and enjoy yourself. And I talked to somebody a couple weeks ago that said, after spending a week in Tucker County, it just cries outdoors to you. It just tells you, get outside. Blackwater Falls was one of, you know, I mean, there's all historic pictures and all the history books about them discovering the falls. Um, it's really unique to see people walking across the top or pictures with them down below. You can't do that now, but uh, the falls are, are a big part of our history in the area also. Um, and then we also have the Canaan Valley Wildlife Refuge down in that area. And that is some additional protected land that you can utilize to hike or bike or um, bird watching. Uh, and then in Canaan Valley you also have access to Dolly Sides Wilderness Area, which is a very unique area. It um, has plant life indigenous to Canada, so a lot of people like to go up there because you can see things that you can't see anywhere else. Uh, it's known for the blueberry bushes in August. Um, and in the fall, the um, blueberry bushes turn this bright red and it's quite gorgeous. Leaves actually peak at the end of September, beginning of October. So at the end of September, we have a Leaf Peepers Festival that is held here in Davis, uh, celebrating the change of the colors. The uh, Tucker Community Foundation holds Run For It, which is a fundraiser, but a 5K, 2K run walk. It's a really unique um, experience where Different nonprofits and organizations throughout the surrounding counties come and fundraise and run the race for their organization. So it's, it's a quite a large festival that has grown over the years. Um, we just try to remind people, okay. don't come too late in October, you'll miss the fall colors. It is late September, early October, but it really does compete with uh, New England's fall colors. Um, both ski areas will allow you to take their scenic chairlift ride that time of year. They also do it in the summertime, but in the fall it's quite gorgeous because you get just the 
panoramic view of all the fall colors. And it's really amazing that so many people come in the winter time and not realize how much we have going on in the summer and vice versa. Those that come in the summer don't realize how much we have going on in the winter. So I encourage people to come uh, every year, every season if they can. But, uh, you know, if you've been here in the winter, then I encourage people to try to come up in the summer and vice versa. And remember in the summertime, we're 10 to 15 degrees cooler. So, you know, I don't even have air conditioning in my home. If it's, you know, 90 plus, you know, we're lucky if we hit 85 here. Really the low 80s, high 70s is typical for us in the summer months. And a lot of people like to come and, and enjoy that experience and get out of the humidity. So I think people for, don't realize with our elevation, it can be a whole lot cooler and that's wonderful. Downhill ski areas, cross country ski areas, Wilderness, whitewater, rock climbing, paddling, fishing, peace and quiet, birding, biodiversity, and you got barely anybody here, and it's cheap to buy real estate. It's, an, it's exactly the same now in 2017 as it was in 1885. It's a total undiscovered paradise. If you want to know more information about Tucker County and how to get tuckered in Tucker County, we like to say get tuckered in our area. Uh, our website is caninevalley.org or gettuckered.com. You can find us um, on there and you can find all the information, event schedules, or follow us on our Facebook page. It's Tucker County, West Virginia, all spelled out. We really try to keep that up to date, especially with weather as it changes and what's happening in the area.